This is where the water main break occurred. Um, they brought their equipment in, dug up the street. Mary Lou Kish of North Olmsted explained what she and four other homeowners dealt with last May 11th when a Cleveland water main ruptured on Barton Road. It looked like Niagara Falls running over the edge into the ditch. Mary Lou showed me pictures of the aftermath. The water main break caused a two day cleanup. Dozens of water soaked boxes. Now, Mary Lou is actually a seamstress, and she says when water hit her house here, it caused plenty of damage to her sewing equipment. It damaged flooring and furniture like this ottoman that was completely soaked. By the time she added up all the damage, she says it totaled more than $7,000. The Kish family says their insurance company told them they weren't covered, that the city of Cleveland was responsible for their losses. So they contacted the Cleveland Division of Water, who told them to file a damage claim with the Cleveland Law Department. However, five weeks later, their claim was denied. The law department told them the city would be responsible only if the water department caused the water main break or had prior knowledge of the problem. Still, Mary Lou isn't giving up. You just got to persist and do anything you can. Um, contact people who have been through it. Um, you know, get a group of people together if you have to.